Hello there, welcome to the October 2020 Applied Paper. Here we're looking at question 3. In a game, a player can score 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4 points each time the game is played. The random variable S, representing the player's score, has the following probability distribution where A, B and C are constants. The probability of scoring less than 2 points is twice as likely as the probability of scoring at least 2 points. So this here and this here... Let's work it out. The probability of scoring less than two points is twice as likely. So we have to collect all of this probability here. That's going to be C plus 0.25. Multiply it by two. And that will give you the exact value of this probability here. It is twice the probability of scoring at least two points. Yeah, good. Each game the player is independent of previous games played. Uh, John plays the game twice and adds the scores um, together to get a total. Calculates the probability that this total is six points. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, so, so what I interpreted here, this from this sentence here, is the probability of scoring less than two points, so it's this um, value here, is going to be twice as much as this probability here. So that means this is effectively one part to two parts over here. So we'll need to multiply that one part to get this part over here. Or we could effectively say that three lots of C plus 0 0.25 is equal to one. Uh, because if we've got a one part to two part ratio, then that's three parts in total, where one part is equal to C plus 0.25. So there we are, so we'll now have uh, C plus 0.25 equals a third, and then subtract 0.25, so 1 divided by 3, take away 1 divided by 4, is 1 divided by 12. So C is equal to 1 divided by 12. Uh, is that exact? No. So we'll just call it one, 1 over 12, this probability here. So we want to now work out the probability of scoring six points in total. So we need to think of now the different ways that we could do that. We could go the probability of two and four. We could go probability of four and two. Or we could go probability of three and three. So let's work out these total different ways of doing it. Uh, probability of getting a two is one twelfth. Probability of getting a four is 0.15. Probability of getting a 4 is 0 0.15. Probability of getting a 2 is 1 over 12. Probability of getting a 3 is 0 0.1. And probability of getting a 3 is 0 0.1 again. So now when we calculate all of these probabilities, let's just do it all in one go, why not? And then add them all together, we're going to get um, 1 over 12 times 0 0.15, times that by 2, and add 0 0.01, we're going to get 0 0.035. So there we are, that's the answer for this question here, worth uh, six marks in total for question three. Let's move on to question four.